We're going to start out with axe chops. So um, you can do them with two hands, or you can lengthen this and use one if that band is too much for you, right? So it's just up top, down around. Know, so what is the, what are, how are the hands supposed to be out? I, you can hold them like this oh, so they're out the bottom. Okay. I'm always changing my adjusting to whatever feels right at the time. And I'm right at the end of my bands, nice, smooth, and steady move. Just a mini squat at the bottom. Good morning, Good morning. Annie. Sorry. And breathe. Let's do two more. Two. And last one. Good. Shake it out. No bands this morning? No bands. Okay. Mm -hmm. Bad shoulder. Good. That's fine too. And one more set. Norma Jean, you can come forward if that sun is getting you. It's always a challenge. It's possibly in a second. Yeah, it won't be there long. But like you said, you know, the sun's not out. You go out for a walk one day, and then the next day it is. Mini squat at the bottom. Nice loose knees, nice and relaxed. Three more. I do 15 ish. It could be 18, it could be 12. <laughs> Shake it out. We're going to go to the other side. I watch Jody because Jody comes. <laughs> Once a teacher. Okay, we're going to go up on the other side. Same thing, down and around. Axe two. And sort of follow the hands with your eyes. Looking back and down. When we don't have bands, I ask you to see if you can go 360. With the bands, it's hard to get your eyes all the way back. And then down and around and back again. But still follow that pattern. Two more? It's a 15. And last one. Good. Excellent. Shake it out. And one more set of 15 ish. Up and down and around. Let your knees bend at the bottom. You don't have to do a full on squat, but don't struggle with straight legs. You should be feeling your shoulders. You can do it like a golf swing, absolutely, but this is the standard axe chop where you hold the hands together. If that feels good on your shoulders, by all means, could you get a nice extension in the back? And last one. Okay, good. I'm going to take my jacket up. We're going to go to the goal post arms. I'm warmed up. And we're going to do some side bends. <laughs> And when we do the side bends, I want you to go directly to the side. Try not to go front or back. And again, I'm at the end of the bands. So we're just going to go right over to the side. And it's a gentle press. Don't bounce. Don't go too quickly. But press down at the bottom. Down at the bottom, feel your obliques. Let's 
let's do one more and then I'm going to drop the hands and we're going to do another set of side bends but we're going to do them with long arms down to the side try to keep your shoulders back so we're pulling up on the one side just reaching on the other you can adjust your bands as needed maybe you want to tighten them down a little bit more And again, straight over, reaching down the leg, sliding your hand down the leg. Flat. Feet flat. Yeah, you may not go very far. Just lean it over and feel the obliques. Let's do two more, both sides. And last one. Okay, we're gonna work a little bit on balance and also the calves, the lower legs. We're gonna raise to the toes. So put your bands under the toes. I have my gloves here. Put your bands under the toes because we're gonna raise the heels, okay? And we're gonna press back on the hands with a straight arm as we go to the rear. So this is the arm, you're pressing back. You're just gonna go up on the toes. Little calf raise. So you can keep that band under the toes. Maybe you'll do better than I will. <laughs> pressing back and back. See if you can balance up there and not fall forward like I just did. Really focus on that balance. See if you can pick a spot on the wall or on the floor, somewhere in the distance. Toes are straight forward most of the time. <laughs> other than when you're wiggling around trying to get your balance one more. Thank you. Good. Shake it out. Let's do one more. And again, pressing back and up on the toes. Struggling to balance on the balls of the feet. This is something you can do at home for balance work. One more. Three. Two. And last one. Oh, I felt the cats. Okay. <laughs> We're going to do a standing rotation, which is just twisting from the waist or the hips. We're going to hold the hands here, elbows back, shoulders back, chest up, and chin in. Just nice loose knees, rotate. I'm going to widen my stance just a little bit so I can loosen up my knees a bit. Get a little bit more rotation. Two more, and last one. Good, I only do one set of those. We're gonna go to biceps, and this time instead of doing the bicep curl in the front, we're gonna do a flare bicep curl. So your arms are out of the side. But the same basic curl to the shoulder and down. Relax the rest of your body, focusing on the biceps. Out to the side. See if you can bring your knuckles to your shoulders. 
See how my hands are not coming into the front, it's coming up to the shoulder. Five more. Let's do one more. Fifteen inch, as I said. <laughs> I can't talk and chew gum. And shake them out. One more set. Again, flare biceps. Elbows in at the waist. And up. Two. If you want to hold the bands with the ends coming out, if that is better if they don't snap that way. You should still get those knuckles up. to the side as much as you can. Three, two, and one. Good. Okay, shake that out. We're going to keep the band under both feet, and we're going to do this one in bent over position. Tabletop or anywhere from standing to tabletop, whatever's comfortable for you, right? And we're going to do some rows which is just bringing the elbow to the sky, both arms, and up to the sky. And good. Keep those elbows into the body. Excellent. Are we near 10? Yeah. Okay, good. Last one. Excellent. Shake it out. So you all have very good form. You're coming right up the body, keeping the elbows in, straight up to the sky with the elbow. One more set. Down, adjust your bands, and up. You can always keep it in. The horse moves and moves. Feeling the triceps and the shoulders working, your lats, shoulder blades pulling together in the back. Let's do five more. Five, four, three, two, and the last one. Excellent. All right. We're going back to the bicep. This time, one leg. We're going to do a single leg for balance. Now, if you can stand on one leg, good for you. Otherwise, we're going to take that leg back, and you're on the toe or the ball of the foot in the back. Front leg is straightish. Don't ever hyperextend that knee. And we're going to simply do the bicep curls with a little bit of a squat in the front. Okay? So you're coming up and up. I'm going to go into the squat as far as it is comfortable for you to do. That hurts at all? No squat. Good. It's a little steady on those hands. Keep the elbows in. And if you guys want to do a little one pound weights instead of the bands, that's fine. Body weight is fine. One more. But you can modify this because it's basically weight training, resistance training. We're going to do one more set on that side, stepping out on the ball of the foot or the toe in the back and into that bicep. Go ahead and hold up the back of the chair if you want any. You can do a single bicep curl or you can give up the squat. If that's too much, you can just do the bicep curl. Or go for it, I mean. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, switch legs. 
I'm not encouraging you to do less. What I'm trying to do is make it available for anyone to do. We can modify these rules. There are certain structures, certain form that you want to maintain, and others that don't really matter. Step me forward, one foot back, and bicep curl. Breathing. Make it a comfortable stride so that you're, you've got good balance. Not Feet aren't too close, aren't too far away. Nice and comfortable. You're already disrupting your balance by moving around, so you have those feet stable. Four more, and three, and two, and one. Thank you to the birds for counting. <laughs> okay, we're going to do a fly, straight arm fly, okay, basic fly movement, but we're going to do it in bent over position. Now, again, however bent over you want to be, if it's here, fine. Here, and we're just going to do a fly, squeezing the shoulder blades. Keep your abs tight and take the arm up and out. Now, if that hurts the shoulder, bend the elbows, keep them soft. Five, six, seven. And eight. Let's just do sets of eight on that. It's a full lever arm. And it's hard on the shoulder. You can always bend it. Try the straight arm if it's too much. Modify it. And over again. And here we go. Straight arm fly. And up. Two. Squeeze those shoulder blades. Five. Six, seven, and eight. Good. Good. Shake it out. All right. We're going to do start in T position, both feet on the bands, T position with arms out. Your right foot is front, your left foot diagonally out. Okay? We're going to work on the right arm. So I'm going to sweep down. As I bend the knee, I'm going to reach forward like I'm bowling or throwing a bocce ball or whatever. Okay, diagonally across, diagonally across. Keep the other arm up. Little isometric hold on the other side if possible. So you go back to the T, reaching down and across, making an arch or an arc, rather, cross and down. Up and down and throw the ball. And last one. Good. Ooh, can you feel the shoulders? Good. All right, let's switch to the other side. Position, keeping one arm up. In this case, my right arm is staying up as I come across and bend that right knee, throwing the ball. Up and back to the front. Any time it becomes painful, not achy, but painful, just drop the bands. One more. Excellent. Shake it out. Ooh. Yeah. All right. <laughs> We're going to 
do a side lunge with an upright roll. This is the upright roll. You want to keep your hands in the middle the whole time. From the belly all the way up, elbows come up, forearms are flat on the horizon. And we're going to do a little side step with it, like a side lunge. Just that much. Okay? Out and down. Up with the elbows. The hands come up, the hands go down. Okay, all the way from the belly, all the way up to your shoulder. to the other side right away because we're going to do two just alternating okay single side side two elbow and arm to the body and straighten that arm to the back softish elbow at the top straightish never hyperextended Five more, and four, feeling the tricep at the top, really tighten up, two, and one, excellent. Working on the back of the arms. Okay, we're going to go up to the top, and again, if you need a little more length, you can always stand on, or let the band go and move it over, get a little more length. So we're only doing one side. I'm going to hold my elbow just to brace it in place, not to push it back, okay? Starting at the top and drop. Two. Three. You want to have your elbow straightish? Straightish forward. <laughs> or straightforward ish. 
not to strain your shoulder, but it shouldn't be out to the side. Keep that, the reason I'm holding that elbow is to keep that upper arm still. You'll feel your shoulder, your triceps working. If you keep that upper arm still, one more, when you keep that upper arm still, you're only, you're focusing on those muscles. Instead of moving all around the shoulder girdle, you're focusing on one or two muscles. Okay, we're going to the other side. Again, single side. I'm going to drop second hand so I can hold that elbow, strain arm, and then drop and two. Again, keeping the elbow straight forward ish. Good. Is it? Yeah. Do you feel it in the tricep or the shoulder? Or are you feeling it? <laughs> oh, do you? Uh -huh. Maybe I'll give you a couple of things to strengthen that forearm. You don't do a lot of forearm work. And last one. You can simply go over a table, hold your arm on the table, and flex it back. That'll strengthen that forearm. You want to hold a little weight? You can do that. I'm not going to focus on that tiny uh, move in class, but you can easily do that at home. Just And it'll get in there. You'll feel it. Okay, we're going to do some squats. Hammer hold, um, thumbs front, arms straight down. Now I want you to go to the bottom and tighten that wherever you're going to go in your squat, okay? Pick your spot. Butt out. Remember, we're sitting in that chair and we're just going to come up and there's tension on those bands now because you've tightened them up at the bottom, sitting back in the chair. Pick your spot on the floor, look at it, and back with the butt, sitting on the chair. Try not to let those knees get in front of the toes. Going straight down, your weight is hitting the center of the foot. And three. Two, and last one. Good. Eddie, you're getting down in those squats. My Good. knees are fine. Good. Thank God. Good. Yeah. They should be by they now. Be, That's yes. what I've done. Okay, another set of squats. Gets to be too much, cut it off. Okay, no pain. Again, grab those bands at the bottom, and we're going to go down in. Butts back in the chair. And two, three, four, five. Sitting back in that chair. Chair slipping away. You're trying to find it with your butt. Good. Four. And only go down as deeply as is comfortable. I see people struggling a little bit with balance. Good. This will build your balance. Last one. Go ahead and wobble. Just your abs, your core will catch you and you'll build your core strength. Okay. Let's not do another squat right away. Let's do some shoulder shrugs. I'm just going to do one set, but we're going to do 20 of them, okay? And a shoulder shrug is your shoulders to your ears. Get a little tension on that band. Three. Five. Six. Squeeze it at the top. We're halfway there. Give it a good squeeze. Just take a millisecond longer at the top. You should be feeling those trapezius right next to the neck. Squeeze it. Top of the shoulders. Five more. Good. 
Good. Four. Squeeze. Two. And one. Good. Okay, we're going to do the kettlebell hold. I call it kettlebell because that's my favorite kettlebell move. And we're just going to do a knees out squat. Okay. When we do this, you're going to bring that up in the middle. A little bit of a squat. Knees wide. Bring that band up center. Three, two, and one. And let's finish up with the bands with a kettlebell swing. Um, the kettlebell goes between your legs, you look back between the legs, swing behind the heel, and then back up, and we'll go back up to shoulder level if you can, okay? So both hands on the kettlebell. You're going to swing it back. Bent knee, look behind your heels, and up, and bend it, and up. So you're doing a little bit of a squat, but you're looking back. Let's do five more. And four. Three. Two. And last one. Good. And let's lose those bands and get your chair. little sticky placemats you can put on the seat of the chair that will uh, keep you from sliding around. The downside is it pulls your pants down. So, <laughs> so I've been having trouble keeping my pants on with